Hello everyone and welcome back to the Creative Life Studios. So today we're going to be combining two of my favorite things, my Faith Impressions line for gel press and a printable from his palette. Um, I'll leave a link for that down in the description. Um, you saw in the beginning of the video the color inspiration for this particular um, this particular entry is that kind of leaf with the purples and the yellows and the oranges. Um, so I'm just using just plain old acrylic paint on my border plate for my Faith Impressions line for gel press and using my bubble wrap just to add a little bit of texture. Um, I accidentally put a little bubble or line when I was um, uh, clear gessoing this page. That's why you see that little that little bubble right there in the print. That's okay. I'm going to cover it up with something anyway. Um, this is the closest thing I had to those purples that were in that um, that color inspiration. So it's kind of a burgundy. Probably could have been a little bit more purple, but it gets the job done. And I'm using this just to overlay even more texture on top of my entry. I kind of also liked the swirls and kind of the chaoticness of it because um, I think it kind of fits my... Um, my project for today um, and I'm going to double up on my border plates. This is the uh, the decorative border plate for my Faith Impressions line. One side is a, a kind of a, a zigzag rickrack kind of thing and one is a, um, a scallop. I kind of added a little bit too much paint so I'm just using my brayer just to kind of remove a little bit more of that and I'm going to use this sponge just to add a little bit more texture and just line it up on the edge and just give it a nice little press down and it kind of just gives it um, just a little bit more decorative kind of finishes off the edge of the page and gives it just a little more definition there and I'm just using a scrap piece of paper to clean my plate off and I kind of save those and use them down the road or I use them for just varying things. This printable is called um, His Soul, I believe. I'll have to double check that now that I say that. Um, let me see if I can find it while we're looking at this. Um, I kind of was decided to wait to put my printable on so I can use my um, Faber-Castell pen just to start adding some definition. Um, it's called His Voice. Sorry, there we go. It's His Voice from the His Palette um, printables on Etsy and she also has a website which I will link down below for you guys. Um, I'm just using this just to kind of give some shadow and some depth to my pieces that I've put down so far for my border. And of course you know that backgrounds on most journaling Bibles are kind of an off-white and of course I printed this on just stark white paper. Um, so we're gonna try to remedy that here in just a minute. Um, I'm just using some Deco Art Matte Gel Medium to adhere my printable down. I did go ahead and print her in cardstock. Um, I have found that I need to find a happy medium between regular copy paper and cardstock. So if you have any ideas or suggestions, I would love for you to leave those in the comment. I just find sometimes if I use cardstock and I matte medium it down, sometimes it makes the paper buckle weird. I had that happen with a cupcake one that I did recently and it kind of buckled and it looked weird and it, I was not a fan. Um, so I'm just using some watercolors to kind of tone down the bright whiteness of my printable that I was using and um, I just didn't want it to just be such a stark contrast to uh, the back of my page so I'm just using just some um, kind of an I guess that would that be an ochre color I'm not really sure what that color would be um, but anyway just kind of some off colors to kind of mute that down just a little bit and I think I've got it off screen. Oh, there it is. Um, so I have two colors, two sets of my watercolors out because I also want to um, just begin to add some pops of color um, on her cheeks, which I overdid and then I had to fix. So you're going to see me messing with that for a few seconds here. Um, but then I also wanted to add just some pops of what would be kind of a uh, maybe fall floral kind of colors to the flowers that are surrounding her. Um, I liked this particular image, um, which might be hard to tell from this uh, this angle, um, but she's actually whole, has headphones on and her hands are kind of up to it. Um, and as a musician, um, you know, music is sometimes is the only thing that, that can sometimes block out what's going on in the world and what's going on in life. Um, 
And especially if that music is um, faith centered, it's why this one is called His Voice, I, I'm guessing, because um, sometimes it's it's hard to block out the world. And I think that's why I chose that whole the, uh, the, the stencil I did, because it was this swirly kind of overwhelming pattern um, and this scripture that we're using is in um, Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 I believe yes and it says I the Lord do not change and I feel like sometimes in the noise of the world um, we just have to block it out however that works for us um, and just remember that no matter what's going on and how bad things might seem that his promises never change that he never changes and we just have to rest in that and find some way to block out any voices that say something different than that um, and so I think that's why I kind of liked joining um, this particular image with this idea of like these kind of swirly patterns and in, in the background and that kind of stuff. Um, so you can see I'm just turning those flowers into kind of a fall floral situation. Um, obviously you could do this with any color scheme where you could just do leave her black and white, whichever works for you. Um, I just happen to like this particular one. I actually downloaded this one and then she has another one called um, Her Soul um, that I downloaded as well. So I was kind of going back and forth between those two for this particular project. And I have this super old roller that is like a wood grain pattern. And I just wanted to add it with some distressing just to kind of um, add some some grungy texture and just some more idea of the, the fact that this is kind of fall themed and outdoorsy themed and outdoorsy colored. And so I thought the wood pattern with the walnut stain distress ink would kind of reinforce that. Um, and plus, it, I feel sometimes if my page is too naked, like there's too much white space, um, it makes me uncomfortable and I don't like it. So um, I'm also going to add just a little bit of a yellow Adirondack color. I think it's called daffodil. I don't have it with me right now. Um, just with these little dots, again, just to reinforce that color scheme and kind of that grungy thing that I'm trying to do here. And these are some of my favorite letter stamps. There's some, um, I would say vintage, but I don't know if vintage is the right word, maybe just old. Um, they're just some um, foam stamps from uh, Tim Holtz, but I love them because you can kind of set them next to each other in a way where they almost look like they're a fluid script, which I love. Um, and they are slightly tacky, so you can put them on and they don't move. And so I love that. And um, I think I put, yep, there we go. I had to double check. So uh, you might not be able to tell in fast motion, but I originally put the B instead of the D. And so it said you, you won't instead of you don't. Um, you know, I always double check before I stamp something like this because I have been known to goof that up before. Um, and so I am just using, I think it's a, it's a Hamilton, uh, Hamilton, or uh, Hampton Arts, not Hamilton, Ham, Hampton Arts, um, just black or brown um, ink. And you can see right where that NGE um, falls over those letters, it gets lost just a little bit. So um, I'm gonna be using just, you know, I'm gonna make sure that's completely dry and I'm just gonna go with my um, my handy dandy Sharpie gel pen, which you've heard me rave about. Um, and just not only go around and emphasize those words, I'm also gonna use it to add just a little bit of a shadow to all of it, just to give it more pop and make it uh, stand out more. And I'm not doing anything super fancy. I'm really just keeping it um, kind of grungy and messy um, and imperfect because um, that's kind of how I was feeling when I was looking at this color scheme and thinking about this scripture. So you can see I'm going back in after outlining it um, and just adding some shadows. Um, again, just to give it some dimension and some depth and just make it have um, a little more stand out against this, uh, this page and against my printable. Coffee break, yay. Coffee! Um, and then I also wanted to brighten it all up just a little bit. So I'm trying a couple of different pens. Um, I don't know. I wasn't, my Uniball was not being my friend. 
And so I got my jelly pin and that one wasn't being my friend either. So I don't know if it was the slickness of this particular kind of ink. Um, if that's why it wasn't flowing the way it normally would. Um, but you know, sometimes you just have to persevere and just keep trying and figuring out ways to make it work. Um, and I really like, it kind of gives it more of a 3D image. So that feels like kind of the, the glare you would get from a 3D letter. Um, and I felt like it definitely needed that. Um, and now I'm just going to highlight my the verse that I am um, using. And then I felt like there was too much of like a harsh line between her and the background. So I added just a little bit of like a halo of that brown to kind of break up that sharp line. And that was my thinking face. Um, and I really felt like it needed something else. And so I'm going to use that credit card technique. Well, this is like uh, not a credit card. It's like a, it's a hotel room card. Um, just to kind of add some lines and just kind of break up everything just a little bit. Um, I thought about the fact afterwards too, you know, we that we're going with the you don't change thing. And then as I was doing this, I realized I was using red and it really reminded me of the by his stripes, we are healed passage. Um, and I think, um, there's so much going on right now with uh, people's health and people's idea of health and, and fear. And um, I kind of like that idea of unintentionally reinforcing that idea that, um, that that's included in the you don't change thing that by his stripes we are healed. And so um, unintentionally, that's what kind of came to mind whenever I felt the need to add that red. So that is today's finished project. I will link everything down below. And thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day.